Here we have the family of PyCom devices, spanning a combination of five different networks and three expansion boards, two of which are jam-packed with sensors. You can program all these boards with a new MicroPython programming language, which is super fast for prototyping and development. Our first module is the Wi-Pi, our baby module. This module is based on the ESP32 with Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. It's a dual-core processor that powers all of our modules. Following this, we released the LoPi, our first triple network module with Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, but this time also with LoRa, a popular network for the Internet of Things. And here is the SciPi, identical to the LoPi with Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, but instead of LoRa, it uses Sigfox. Sigfox is a super easy to use, highly reliable, and wide coverage network for the Internet of Things. Next is the GPi with Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and cellular LTE-M. This builds on our offering of multi-network devices, allowing you to choose the one for your specific application. The last of our modules is the FiPi, the world's first five-network module with Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, LoRa, Sigfox, and LTE-M cellular. The FiPi employs real-time network switching. This means you don't have to decide which network you want to use until you need it. Now we move on to our expansion boards. This is the base expansion board, which enables you to connect your module via USB to your computer to begin prototyping. You can connect a LiPo battery and insert a microSD card, amongst many other features. PySense is a sensor pack board with an ambient light sensor, barometric pressure and humidity sensor, accelerometer and temperature sensor. As well as this, the PySense also has some of the primary features of the expansion board 2.0 such as the USB to serial connection, allowing you to get started developing immediately. PyTrack is similar to PySense, except that it only has two sensors, an accelerometer and GPS. PyTrack is designed to make tracking and monitoring extremely simple. This is our whole family of modules. Hopefully you'll join us to get started with the MicroPython revolution.